Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, yeah, so you folks, I'm putting a video, series of videos I've been for the water. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, folks, I may or I may not be facing a Coles. I am. But that doesn't have anything to do with it. What am I doing, though? I go over there, I try out food and drink stuff. I yammer on about it. That's that's the whole format of the show. At the time, I'm actually waiting for a couple items to review, and I figured I might as well get in a review while I'm waiting. But aside from doing that, I'm also wearing a cool shirt. Folks, when I wear cool shirts, I like to highlight the cool shirts. What cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom, it's my Doofmander shirt. I love the Doofmander shirt. Charmander is my favorite of the starter Pokemon. I'm old school. I'm old school. None of this two-type starter Pokemon for me. Just straight-up fire type. I didn't care if he's not a dragon and he looks like a dragon. He's fine. I love him. Plus, you tag in that, and then you go over there, you got the Doof Warrior. That just that makes for a happy Brandon Wenzel. You know what else makes for a happy Brandon Wenzel? Root beer. What am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, I happen to be making my way out uh, to an area that I'm not really around, and I ended up at a Butera, which I haven't seen a Butera in quite a while. They're like a, the, the, they're kind of a fresh market type of place, I guess. And uh, they had, boom, frosty. Let's get the thing. Boom, frosty root beer. It's apparently since 1939. It is it's root beer. It's got an old guy on it. Look at he's he's old. He's like uh, it's like one of the uh, the seven dwarves or some shit. But yeah, I saw this, I was like, root beer. It's an opportunity for me to go over there and do a review and drink root beer. I, that's win-win for me. Plus, I get to wear the Doofmander shirt. Come on. So let's give this a shot. Hopefully, it'll be delicious. Now, for me, and I'm going to emphasize this, whenever I do root beer stuff, I always bring up the fact there's kind of two camps when it comes to root beer, especially like commercial root beer. On the one hand, you have your mug and your AMW. They're sweet. They're easy to digest. Um, they're not very complex. There's not a lot of bite to them. They're fine. On the other end of things, you have barks and dads, which are not for everybody, definitely have some bite, and they have more going on. I fall in that camp. So let's see which one Frosty, since 1939, is going to fall between. It smells good. It smells like a good root beer. It's got that, like, like rooty smell to it. Rooty! Okay, it's not bad. I like it. It reminds me a little bit of Barks. Um, I think Barks has a little bit more bite to it. This, it's it's definitely sweeter than Barks. Um, it, uh, yeah, it's good. I like it. I don't love it though. There's not a lot of bite to it. Um, the one thing I do like is that it does have that rooty taste to it. Like, But the thing is, it's an aftertaste. And what I mean is there's like... Certain root beers have like an earthiness to them. Because it's, it's root beer. That's, you know, that's where the whole thing is sassafras root. And that was the original thing. Even though they don't typically use that anymore. Um... So I like that it has that taste to it. But, unfortunately, the rest of it, again, going with the, you know, the two different camps that I have arbitrarily come up with, it's probably closest to something like Barg's, but it's like a weaker Barg's. And it's not bad. 
but yeah, it's not as good as it could be. Especially for being an older root beer, I would have hoped that would have had like a harsher taste to it. Because for me, that's that's personally what I like. There's just not a lot of depth. It's a very, it's a very one-dimensional root beer. Um, it, you know, it's not bad for being a one-bottle thing, but. And you really have to swig it back to get any of the, any of like the extra flavors. Yeah, it's okay. It's not as good as I was hoping. Um, I would still say, I mean, I definitely would still prefer it over, definitely Mug. Um, maybe A&W. A&W is definitely more commercial than this. But at least with A&W, I'll give it this. It has like a certain, it has that like creamy vanilla aspect to it, which kind of gives a little extra character. This, I feel like it's kind of lacking character. It's an okay root beer, and that's about as good as you're going to get from it. Excuse me. I certainly didn't mind drinking it. But two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No. And uh, sort of. For myself, while it's not bad, there's root beers I like a lot more than this. So for me, there there's really no reason to go back to it. As for recommending it, if you are somebody who falls more in like the mug and A and W camp, I think this could be something you could go for, um, because it's not. It's not an abrasive root beer. It's not the most commercial root beer. Like I said, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Barks, but just sort of lighter. Uh, you know, I, like I said, I think if you fall in that camp, it could be something to check out. But if you're into, like, the heavier root beers, I don't think it, there's a lot of reason to go to it. But anyway, five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Two pennies rest of your folks. You can go over there and have yourselves a truly root beer tastic rest of your life but i mean like i mean you know what i'm not gonna say like oh you know real root beer folks whatever root beer you enjoy that's cool with me final two things number one try to bring some positivity in the world it's not always possible it is however always appreciated but what you do if you can't do it all the time i know i can't do it all the time here's what you're gonna do folks you're gonna try not to be an asshole and folks it's not always the easiest thing in the world to do yeah, I've been having a pretty damn good day, all things considered. But, <laughs> at the end of the day, when I get home, I gotta pay a bunch of bills, I gotta go over there and, you know, deal with all that stuff and everything. That's not fun. That's not fun. That's not drinking root beer and, and uh, you know, having uh, delicious uh, hamburgers with your, with your good friend Mark. Hi, Mark. And, you know, if you happen to be watching this, he's a friend in real life and also somebody who watches my videos, so... He and I had lunch together. Um, you know, in the end of the day, there's going to be times when things are going to be frustrating and stressful. That's why it's important. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do, damn it. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there and maybe you're going to try out some frosty root beer since 1939 with the, the little friggin' seven dwarfs looking motherfucker and maybe like me you're gonna be a little bit eh, on it so then you're gonna go over there you're gonna find a root beer it's been around since 1938 and instead of having a little freaking seven dwarfs guy it's got like a uh, aladdin on it right some other disney character looking guy and you go over there and it's wonderful and it's delicious and you're like man 1938 was the year for root beer. That was a good year for root beer. And you go over there, you have yourself a root beer seller. Oh. If I had a shit ton of money, like just, just a stupid amount of money where I just didn't have to care, wouldn't be a wine cellar, I'd have a root beer seller. And then I'd go over there, invite people over, we'd have root beer tastings. It'd be wonderful. 
or maybe uh, just go over there and, uh, hey folks, ch check out your local grocery stores and stuff like that. Sometimes you find some interesting stuff to drink and try. Bye!